A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Way to go Jaunty, Team Rocket has taken off, and what a coincidence, my bum is suddenly all better now that they are gone, let's go. You handled yourself like a real hero. I'd be happy to make pokeballs for you, here's something I prepared earlier. So now, those apricons you've been collecting are finally useful. If you give them to Kurt, he will eventually turn them into pokeballs for you, and they will have different advantages based on which colors you use. It'll take a day to make you a pokeball, come back for it later. Now let's check out the gym in this town. Azalea Town Pokemon Gym, Leader Bugsy, blah 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 he likes bugs. Well duh. Since you're going up against a bunch of bugs, Snozberry and Foghorn will be your best bets. Snozberry is ready to fuck shit up. You are challenged by Bugcatcher Al, and even though he's a gym trainer with higher level Pokemons, they are still just weak little bugs, which Snozberry destroys with ease, before leveling up and learning quick attack. You are challenged by Bugcatcher Benny. Who shows Jaunty the full evolutionary cycle of a bug Pokemon, from a Super Mario Wiggler wearing a horn on its head, to a dildo wearing a tie, which then evolves into its final form, Flick from a bug's life, wearing a Halloween costume. And now that I've made that joke, I can't look at Beedrill without seeing an ant wearing a bee costume. It's like he's a mascot cheering for a team of bees, and he's got some really pointy pom-poms. Too bad his costume is so flammable. You know, with all this talk of evolving, I think it's about time we saw what it looks like. From so simple a beginning, endless forms, most beautiful and most wonderful, have been and are being evolved. Congratulations, check out that sweet mohawk. Snozberry is very composed and sure of itself. He's also definitely setting that guy's straw hat on fire with his big flaming ass. You are challenged by a couple of little weirdos who are getting way too handsy with each other. And it looks like it's time for your first ever gangbang I mean double battle. Where you'll be fighting against one of those suction cup toys you stick to the inside of your car window. And some sort of candy person from Adventure Time. Who's lying on his back staring up into the sky. Slowly dying from the spear that's penetrated his chest and oh wait it's a spider. Never mind. The ladybug smacks Nosberry in the face over and over again with its many suction cups, and the sour lolly spider manages to poison Foghorn, but ultimately the bugs are defeated without much effort. Fire! Wind! You saved all the slow poke. Phew, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. You are challenged by bug catcher Josh, and his apparently grown up Pokemon, Paris. I've spent most of the time in this gym comparing these bug pocket men to other things, but I just don't understand what makes this googly eyed freak so grown up. I guess if I try hard enough, I can imagine those mushrooms on its back to be a couple of titties. Itty bitty teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. That's hot. <laughs> With all of the weaker trainers defeated, Jaunty heads back to the Poco Center to heal his Poco men. Patients are reminded not to die in the corridors. And now it's time to get your second gym badge. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. 
Nerd alert! You are challenged by Leader Bugsy, who doesn't give a shit about creating a dramatic build-up and decides to throw out his strongest and most intimidating Poco dude first. Scyther, the massive fucking bug with giant blades for hands Pokemon. <laughs> as scary as it may seem, remember that it's just a bug and Snozberry has been burning bugs to a crisp all day. I'm sure he can handle this one too. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty strong for a quick attack, but Snozberry's fire should be pretty strong too. Oh. <laughs> the giggling green grasshopper powers itself up for its next attack, and Snozberry tries another ember, which takes off another third of the bug's health, but then... It restores its health by eating a citrus berry. <laughs> Healed up and powered up, the laughing locust lashes out once again. Leaving Snozberry with only 6 HP. What's this? Snozberry seems to be all powered up as well. Snozberry has the special ability, Blaze, which powers up his fire type moves when his HP is low. Fantastic. That might just give Snozberry the power to finish off this maniacal mantis. Well that's just dandy, now it's pretty much guaranteed that Bugsy will use a super potion, but at least that gives Jaunty the chance to switch in a new Pokemon without them being immediately attacked. Yeah! Yup, called it. Now let's see if Krunk can do any damage to this crazy creepy crawly. Old Reliable does it again. One more hit like that and it's all over for this insane insect. Yeah. What? The move you turn allows the user to strike with a powerful bug type attack before switching places with another party member. That bonkers bug bamboozled us. Now with both Snozberry and Krunk out of action, Jaunty throws out his last hope. Yeah, what do we got here? Metapod's tackles do a small amount of damage, but Foghorn's gust makes short work of him. And now we just have to hope that Foghorn is strong enough to take down the big bad blade wielding bastard. <coughs> Jaunty debates between using the stronger move gust, or potentially striking first with a weaker move quick attack. Foghorn might not survive even a single hit, so Jaunty chooses speed over strength. Foghorn attacks first, but doesn't manage to finish off the insidious invertebrate, who worryingly powers herself up. And if that's the reason Foghorn was able to attack first, then this might be the end for him. <laughs> Miraculously, Foghorn survives, allowing him to deal the final blow. And just like that, Bugsy's only chance of victory is dead. Now all he has left is... Damn, now everything is riding on my tie-wearing dildo. Most of us have to live with our mistakes, but you get to die by yours! A chew used lick. <laughs> Congratulations, you just defeated Leader Bugsy.